you have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It looks like this. Make sure we're talking about the same phone. And you are wondering if you can make it run faster. The answer is yes. There are two ways. One is simple, uh, which you should do regularly. It's regular maintenance. And then the other one is a little bit more complex where we jump into developer options. I'll show you how to do it. Then we'll compare it to the S21. You'll see with your own eyes how much faster this phone is when we change these options. And then if you stick around, we'll show you how to undo those options if you don't like them. All right, so let's do the first things first, which is jump into options, jump into settings, and then this is what you should do right on a regular basis. You're going to go to device care. Inside device care, you're just going to touch optimize now, and the, the built-in software is going to help clean up your phone of unnecessary apps and memory and that kind of things. All you have to do is, if you use your phone a lot, do it once a day, every other day, once a week. Okay, inside of device care, if you didn't know this, you can also touch storage. Inside storage, you can, let's see, there's 4.3 megabytes of space by deleting old audio files from the Samsung folder. Uh, we can do that. You can also hit trash. You can get rid of trash. We got some old pictures that we don't want anymore, so let's touch the three buttons here. Oh, no, I guess we have to touch it here. Now we hit edit. Now we hit empty. Permanently delete these pictures? Yes, let's delete those. Is there anything else in the trash? No more trash. All right, and then one more thing you can do is touch memory, and you can clean out some of your RAM memory Google Play, Play Store, Google. I don't need those things on right now while I'm doing something else. So if you're finding out that your phone is just a little bit sluggish, jump into device care and hit those settings. Okay? And if that's all you want to learn, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And now we're going to jump into developer options. Developer options kind of sounds scary because you jump into the actual software of the phone. But all you have to do is not touch anything on accident and you won't mess anything up. To get to developer options, jump into your settings. Go into About Phone. Inside About Phone, go to Software Information. Inside Software Information, you're going to look for these words, Build Number. And inside this little space here, all we're going to do is touch it seven times. One, two, three. And you're going to start getting this message four, five, six, seven times. Developer mode has been turned on. Okay? Now, to get to the developer mode options, you're going to back up one, two times and you see where about phone is at the bottom of your settings developer options is now opened underneath that touch developer options by default it's on and now this is where we don't want to touch things unnecessarily so if you accidentally touch something you can just touch it back or if you ch touch something and it gives you an option to cancel cancel or just back out of it all right, let's move on. We are going to look inside of developer options. See how that says debugging right there? And do you see how this one says networking? We're looking for drawing. And you're going to scroll for a little while, input, and then right after input is drawing. And we're going to look for these three settings here. Windows Animation Scale, Transition Animation Scale, and Animator Duration Scale. Touch it. Some people say put it on 0.5. You have that option. But for demonstration purposes and the way I run my Samsung, I turn the animations off. Transition animation scale, touch it, animation off. And before I do the last one, the one thing I want you to note in your mind is that the default is 1x. So if you ever want to come back, which we'll go over at the end of the video, and change it to back to default, it's 1x. So let's turn them off. And now we're done. Okay? So now I'm going to go back to home, and now I want you to see with your own eyes what happens. If you're someone who works with your phone a lot, you make a call, you send a message, you make a video, you upload a video, you're sw swapping back and forth between apps. The, watch how this makes a difference. Now just open up the phone. Watch what happens. Blinks on and the S21 kind of opens out of its icon. Let's close out of the phone. Do you see that? That blinks off. This one closes into its icon. Let's do Messenger. Blinks on in an instant. Let's go through these things. And then this one opens out of its icon. Let's close it. Blinks off, closes down. One more. Let's do, oh, I didn't do camera at the same time. Okay, let's close camera. And let's open camera. Blinks on, ready to take pictures of whatever wood texture. 
Now what happened? Watch happens. Watch what happens when we close it down. Blinks off, and this one closes down slowly. That's it. You can be done. Leave in the comments if you like how your phone operates now that you've made those changes with the animations. And if that's all you want to learn today, again, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. If you want to stick around to how to undo those changes, let's do that now. Okay, we need to get back into settings. I like to go this way sometimes. Scroll all the way down to developer options again. Scroll all the way down looking for that drawing heading. There's networking. Uh, input is next and drawing right after. So here we are. Windows animation, transition, and animator. Let's set them all back to one. Transition to one. Animator duration to one. And we're completely done. And if you're a little bit nervous about, you know, accidentally changing things in your phone that you don't want to, just come up right here. The developer options is now off. And now watch what happens when we go to about phone. It doesn't show up underneath about phone anymore. So if you want to relearn how to, to uh, just watch the video again if you want to see how to uh, turn the developer options back on. And that is it. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you sticking around. Please like, please subscribe, and I would appreciate a subscription.